What is up guys, Neil here, back with an Android game review, um, and in this case it is going to be reviewed on Android, but is also available for iOS. So for those of you who have seen Ready Player One, or have read the book, or both, you know that the game Adventure by Atari plays a very big, or plays an important role in the game, as far as um, getting the key to one of the levels. So I figured for this review that I would... Um, play the original game but for your mobile device so uh, when you do purchase adventure via atari's greatest hits app you will get a four pack of games so it does cost about 25 cents so there is that little bit of good news when you load up the game via the app, you, there aren't, uh, I guess, any settings to control um, indirectly. You can um, get the manual if you want. So if you want to read a little bit more about that, you can uh, read it. It's a little bit on the blurry side, so not um, quite the clear version of it. But if you want to uh, read that, there is that. Um, you do have a couple of control options available, um, so you can look at it, or you can play the game in portrait or landscape mode, and you can also adjust the sensitivity of your controls if you want to do that. So I'm just going to play a, a little bit of the game, I haven't really gotten very far myself, but um, you can get a gist of how the game shows up on your smartphone. So once you've said that, you all you have to do is hit the play button. Um, <clears throat> you can set the um, or select various uh, kingdoms if you want. So if you want a, uh, the small kingdom, full kingdom with random placement and all that, you can set that. So I'll just do full kingdom for um, the sake of it. Um, from here, what you're going to do is um, you're going to have to move around and you're going to have to find the keys in order to get... Uh, open the various keys and then you're also going to have to um, avoid any dragons or anything like that that you may come across and bats and that sort of thing so um, they will trail you so you do need to be very careful when you are um, uh, trying to avoid them and find the keys so that is something to bear in mind so it is a very faithful representation so there are the various castles there's a three um dragons that you have to avoid and um there are the keys so i have found or there is a white key and i guess the game went nuts so i'm gonna reset the game um i'm gonna change it to the um um small kingdom just for the sake of it so you can see that when you start with the small kingdom that there is the yellow key for the yellow kingdom so there is that um I actually didn't get a chance to look at what the arrow is, so I'm going to move around and um, you can see that there is the, uh, or I guess it's a sword, so um, you can kill the dragon as well. So that is something to um, consider when you're playing the game and to be careful of where you leave the key. So um, th the next step is going to be to find the... Um, next key um key so there is a, also a black key to look for so um there so something to work on there but if you want to play a retro game from the atari era um and you or you have fond memories of adventure then it is uh, faithfully recreated and if you do have run into issues while playing the game you can always do a uh, console reset and then um, pressing, and the one thing I didn't mention is that if you push the red button, you can drop whatever you're um, carrying. So there is that to uh, consider as well. So um, I want to keep the key so in case I uh, run into any other uh, creatures that there I have a weapon to kill those creatures. So very simple game, but um, also complicated in its own simplicity. So... Um, definitely worth playing if you're into uh, classic Atari games. So that's all there is for that. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can always find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The video and all video reviews can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, the subscription links, social media links, and all of that good stuff can be found on the website at PatelN01.com. And of course, if you want to get this review and all reviews, or if you want to help support the show and uh, get reviews and things like that, 
ahead of time, then be sure to visit the Patreon at patreon.com slash patelland01. But that is all for this review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.